It's post time for tonight's second race. Field of claiming pacers. They're all lined up in behind the gate and here they come. And they're off. Pressy Boy from the far outside gets the first call. Positive Bird gets an early one-hander as Dubay tries to fire out with him. And the Rango Kid splits that pair. The Rango Kid with the best early speed is driving on. Under heavy urging is Positive Bird. And RC's Nitro is right there from the inside. These three across the track early. Jody's Cam gets away fourth. Pressy Boy dives into a tuck on the pylons from fifth. He's just in front of Hammerham Henry. Then it's DC Falcon in seventh. Racing in eighth is Dexter's Lifeline. The quarter was up in 27 and two. Langoliers is second last and two lengths further back is King Art who trails the field. The Rango Kid made the lead and promptly stepped on the brakes there. So right back out and rolling on the outside. Positive Bird and Positive Bird is now taking command. Also on the move is Jody's Cam coming with his rally toward the front. He's being tracked by DC Falcon who follows his cover and third over is Hammerham Henry and now it's Jody's Cam for Luke Willette looking to clear the lead and DC Falcon is going to take an early run at him up on the outside. He's lost cover second at the half 57 and two a 30 second second quarter breather. Positive Bird under a full out drive from the start is being urged to keep up there in the pocket and Hammerham Henry is perfectly positioned. He's second over on the outside and Dexter's lifeline follows him third over just five lengths from the front. The Rango Kid, the early leader, is shuffled back in a box. He's trapped in on the inside. Langolier is fourth over from seventh. Also shuffled is RC's Nitro as they hit three quarters in 127 flat. And it's Jody's Cam at the top of the stretch. DC Falcon has been first up for quite a ways. He's hanging in there, though, and coming on for Silverman. Hammerham Henry charging hard off cover for Morrill on the outside. And it's Hammerham Henry who surged by everyone to take the lead. Langoliers with some late pace on the outside. He's coming up into second. Second, Pressy Boy under left-handed Moisea verging, but Hammerham Henry has the jump on him, and Hammerham Henry has won it from Langoliers and Pressy Boy in one fifty-six and two. Back to the winner's circle, number one, Hammerham Henry, six-year-old gelding by Henry. Let's go out of Coca-Cola by Rorty Hanover. Owned by the Longs, Fleur and Lemon from Salisbury, Maryland, Orlando Green Trains, and Jim Morrill Jr. is in the sulky for the upset victory. Hammerham Henry, 156 and 2, second win this season. Trackside in the winner's circle from MPI, we'd like to welcome Mark Warren, Lauren Turner, and Kerry Rushitz making the trophy presentation to Jim Morrill Jr. and Hammerham Henry. Hammerham Henry, upset winner here in race two, 4380, 1960, 940. Second was number six, Langoliers, 740, 540. And third, number 10, Pressy Boy, 18 even to show. Early double, nine and one, one thousand and forty dollars eighty cents. Exact to one six pays three thirty-nine sixty. And the second race trifecta, one six ten, seven thousand seven hundred two dollars and twenty cents. In the upcoming third race, no changes. Exactly.